Well, good morning. Welcome back to another episode of UP Fishing Let's Go. So, it is a early, frosty October morning. Actually getting to be the end of October. Um, it's the coldest I've seen it this fall. There was actually some frost on everything this morning when I came out to the boat. So, haven't seen that yet this year. But it's supposed to warm up to a really nice day. So I thought I'd take the morning and uh, get out here on Lake Michigan and see if we can find some fish. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I've been out here and I'm not used to fishing the Great Lakes in the fall. So I've heard it can be great, but we'll see. I'm just uh, doing a little trolling here now to start off. Hopefully find some, you know, steelhead or coho or something like that. The water temperature is 47, so... Hopefully once the sun comes up, they'll come out to play on the surface, but we'll see. I've got three lines out, two lead core, one dipsy, and it's going to just be uh, keep on trying different things until something works or it doesn't. So we'll take the camera along and we'll see what happens here, as always. fish here. Trolling wasn't working so decided to do some jigging. Um, looks like we got a nice lake trout on. Not a monster laker but good eater size. Come on. It's hard to run this big net and get this thing reeled in myself. It's all good. It wants to go be around the back side. Come on. Come on. Oh, almost had him there. The squirrely one. smaller net this is hard to manage with one hand almost there we go fishing in that all right not a big laker but nice eater size what happened was I actually went over like a school of bait and uh, he slammed it so Beautiful. Probably like, a, I don't know, three, four pound fish. Big enough to smoke, which if I get a couple of these, that's what I'm probably going to end up doing with them. This is the lure I was using. I think it's uh, actually, it's either a half or three quarters. I can't remember which. And it's just a Binks uh, spoon. So keep using this. I think this is the fire tiger color I want to say. Hopefully there'll be a few more of these guys around. I'm just going to cast back out to close to where that school was. Let it sink down until it hits bottom. Just free lying or free spooling I should say. Whoa! Another fish on. He hit it before it even hit bottom. I thought I hit bottom, but it felt a little weird, so I was like, hey, I'll check and see, and sure enough, hooked up to another nice fish. Hey, we might be on to something here, guys. This is awesome. Taking me for a little trip over to the other side here. You can 
not be a jigging bite. You get on some fish and they're biting a jigging spoon, there's really nothing better. Fortunately, the drag's a little worn on this rod, so it's not as smooth as it should be. The reason this one felt so good is he's actually snagged in the belly, so there must be a school down there because I don't know if he hit it and missed it, and then when I yanked, I snagged him in the belly or what. But This actually is a nicer fish than the last one. Just carefully unhook him here. There he is, guys. I'm gonna get him right back. Hey, guys. So, that's it for today. Um, I'm on my way back to the ramp now. Fortunately, my big motor is not running so good. I'm gonna have to look into that. So I'm gonna just motoring in with the uh, Altera. Ended up just keeping the two fish. Lost one other. Three total caught for today. Be good on the smoker. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. videos and enjoy seeing the final product. So, see you guys later.